actually constructing face covers for all DOD and civilian personnel on Shepard Air Force Base to combat COVID-19. We actually get airmen in from other squadrons to come help us because there are so many masks that are needed for everyone on base. So whenever these new airmen come in, we actually have to train them completely on how to use a sewing machine. We're hoping that while they're here, we're able to tell them and let them know that they're doing something that's bigger than themselves. They're doing something that is so beneficial to everybody across Shepard Air Force Base. We were used to, you know, just sewing uh, wheel covers and stuff easy like that, and then the corona broke out, and they're like, "Well, we have an idea of making uh, face covers for, you know, the base and other people." And um, so it started yesterday, and so far it's went pretty good. I love it, just knowing I'm doing something great because you know, um, you know sometimes it gets boring having old regular uh, face covers, but you know when you get a whole bunch of people to volunteer and help to make you know covers for everyone on base, it just seems like you're doing a good deed, and there's nothing better than that. I actually came here for to be an ammo troop. I did munitions training for, I've been here for about two months. I finished my schooling and now I'm here doing details for a little bit before I get my next duty station. It makes me feel great because it's not only preventing the flow of new troops coming in, it's allowing us to get people to come in and then go out and then keep them healthy as well. Never once did I picture that it was going to be like this. As a relatively new instructor, I thought that my focus was going to be on you know, training and instructing, but I'm very thankful that I was able to be a part of something this big for the entire Shepard Air Force Base.